winning their final game. It's now time for the women as well to win their game, but it's going to be a tough challenge against the Kenya Lionesses team. As you see the Kenyan lineup on our screens there, and in the black and red is the Uganda Lady Cranes. Lionesses in red and black, preferred strip. And our picture there in shirt number seven, Namulala Unity, scored a try. Ready? That was Najuma Ivan. Number two. Looking like a seven. <laughs> shirt folded. I'm telling you these font sizes. They have really evolved. But it is time for the women's final. Rooted deep and plucked there by Staida Nyachio, Maureen Morito, bringing in Diana Ocheng. Diana Ocheng is on the floor. Turn over one on. by Faith, by Najuma Yvonne rather, fast on the ball at that breakdown. Uganda now making, leaving, letting the ball do all the work after learning their lessons against the Cubs. Agnes Nakuya over on the outside edge. Uganda have struck first. Against the Lionesses, Agnes Nakuya looks like she has hurt herself, but Uganda going through with their hands. And then the speedster outpacing Naomi Amuguni for the first try of the game in the corner. Uganda lead by five points to nil against the Lionesses. Absolutely, the statement of intent coming from the Lady Cranes. And this is uh, Nasozi Maimuna. Kick at goal is wide and it remains 5-0 in favor of the lionesses and from the restart a ball is claimed by an ocheng this is nyachio phoebe akini Keeps the ball as she finds the floor. The referee calls for the knock-on. Advantage is with Uganda. They have come with a lot of intent in this final. I do believe that loss to the Cubs really rattled them. Okay. Certainly, without a doubt. The Lionesses have been rattled early on in this match. Uganda Bro. continue to put in the hard tackles, forcing such Five. handling errors. Set. That was Nadunga Rita. Keeps her feet. Oh. Those are good hands from Maimuna, despite the awkward fall. Get up. Get up Taco the was made by a player on the floor. Scrum scrum. Uganda, like they've been doing the entire weekend, have called for a scrum. They want to attack from that set piece. Okay. There's a pack of. Sarah Chirabo, Yvonne Najima and Lydia Namadiro. But it will be set. interesting to see that set play between Nasozi and Lekuru. Nadunga Rita bringing in Maimuna. Hey. The kick downfield and the chase is on. And now Cheng gets the better of the bounce. We do know that she's got pace to burn as well. Has played her rugby in Spain as well for six months okay. during the 2021 season. Nachio, the Lionesses look to exit their well 22. Well is open. Ocean. 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 Ocean playing pressure against the Lionesses and it's a different kind of event so far in the first half. That's the dummy for Makini. She has support in the form of Naomi Amukuni. We do know that Naomi Abiguni has pace. She is stretching her defenders, being manned by Nadunga Rita and the captain, Peace Lekuru. Numbers are plenty on the outside for Kenya. This is Diana Ocheng against her opposite number 12. And then Nyachio. These are 
race against Maimuna. Yachio has a presence of mind to go to the corner. Going over the whitewash for that try, leveling the scores, much to the excitement of the crowd here at the RFA ground. It is 5-5 between the Lionesses and Uganda in the women's final at the Safari Sevens. An exciting match so far, Ernest. What a response from the Lionesses. Yachio especially with that break. She knew she could match Nasozi for pace. All she needed to do was run towards the corner. And what a finish. Kick from An Ocheng is short. Two minutes, 13 seconds remain. It is all square between the Lionesses and Uganda in the cup final at the Safari Sevens 2023. Okay. Time Both teams playing some very good rugby. This is what we would be waiting for in a cup final. Time. And certainly it is a, w a match worthy of a cup final. Fielded from the kickoff by Uganda's right. Nakuya Agnes. Chirabo is it into the captain. Well, actually, that was Najuma Ipon. Peace Mekuru. Keeping it alive, but the pressure coming from Hong The penalty advantage will be with Uganda. One minute, 12 seconds remain in the half. Pretty sure that yeah. Uganda will be opting for a scrum at that point. Yeah, scrum. scrum it is. There's one of, coincidentally, top referees in Uganda, Omar Balikanda. He's slowly rising through the ranks, following in the footsteps of Round. men like Ronald Utimba and Sauda Adiru, who have refereed here five. in such iconic tournaments. Hold it there. Keep the five. Into the final moments of the half. That is Maureen Muritu. Well read by Maureen. Uganda have done Come that out. look move a couple of times this tournament. They did it in this match. And so when it came back, they were keen to stop that move from the halfbacks. And this is Namabiro Lydia. Rangy strides from Lydia Namabiro. Cantering towards the try line. She is going to retake the lead for Uganda. What well. an effort from Lydia Namabiro on the outside edge. She beats Maureen Morito for pace after Morito had done all the hard work on defense. And then that cross covering tackle not good enough to stop her Namabiro over again, Uganda. Take the lead again. Yeah. There goes the halftime hooter. Maimuna's kick again is wide. And that's the last order of business from what has been a very entertaining half. I know. I'm okay. I'm okay. The rangy strides of hers taking her over the whitewash. And it is... Uganda with the 10-5 lead over the Lionesses in the Safari 7's women final. It is halftime, we will catch you in a few. and do what I'm telling you. Let the ball move, use the middle of the field, secure run. The, the other way is in the panel, it's a loose ball for run. Secure run. More back of people over your run. Skia. Yeah. And the rest is equal. We're going to find this together, you have to redeem yourselves there. Yeah. No one will do it for you. The, the ones who are here, sour. Yeah. 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 
This is the Uganda men's sevens joining their fans in celebration as the women take an unprecedented lead against the defending champions Kenya Lionesses in the women's cup final. Uganda men finish third. Okay, the, men, the women will finish one above them nonetheless win or lose but they now lead by just a try with seven minutes to play in the second half of this women's cup final. Back underway for the second half then. Kenya kicking deep into Ugandan territory. Agnes Nakuya. Peace Lekuru. Aye, Aye, the ball a few more meters forward. The Lionesses are penalized. Not rolling away. And that is again Peace Lekuru oh. with the fend off on Maureen Muritu. And Lekuru, the captain, leading her charges here by example. Good ball play from Uganda. Rita Nadunga goes over the whitewash. A third try for Uganda. There must have been some serious team talk from Charles Onen there. Uganda earlier in the day were playing more like individuals than a team, but they've changed the strategy for this match, moving the ball around keeping the Kenya Lionesses on their sixes and sevens and what a try from Rita Naduga building of that kick receipt by Muna Nasozi second strapping on her head looking for the extra points and unfortunately it stays at 15 points to five what a fight from yeah. Uganda the Kenya Lionesses need to respond as hard as they can number of uh, dignitaries okay. in the stands recognized by the fans yeah. watching the game online including the one about kuna big names huko tukianza na tiktok au bachi well play continues Sheila Tajira is on for the second half Nyachio and then the offload to Naomi Amuguni Eventually getting points on the board. The crowd is in rapture here at the RFUA ground. It's what the fans want to see. Kenya playing rugby, boasting their own tournament, but what a response from the Lionesses. And Naomi Amuguni knows well how to score against Uganda, running a perfect support line. And you can see the smile on her face knowing that they have inched closer, the Lionesses, to Uganda. They will cut the lead to three points pending a successful conversion from Anu Cheng. Well, the kick is successful. Now just three points separating the two sides. Uganda leading by 15 points. Let's see that again. Offload from Nachio to Amuguni. Okay, behind the box. The wind has picked up in the stands, so it's going to be tricky with ball up in the air, but the fans will still continue to enjoy themselves. Kenya have responded to Uganda's early charge. Back. That is Maimuna. Uganda will need to secure the result. Stay back. Complete. Nakuya. Najuma. Najuma on the floor. Nakuya once again. Chirabo, Captain Lekuru to Maimuna. Maimuna sells the dummy. She just doesn't have enough pace, but has support players. Excellent use of the ball by Uganda, making it work for them. That is Namabiro. Kind of pass does not go to hand, but Peace Lekuru is there for the support. Terry Ayesa, the tackle that impedes 
Lekuru's progress. End to end stuff from both teams. The fatigue is beginning to creep in. The Lioness has had forced the turnover. It will be a scrum feed for the Lionesses. This has been a match worthy of a cup final. Without a doubt. Kenya Lionesses being forced to fight for their title defense. Uganda looking to get one of their rivals who have always had the upper hand, winning the last two meetings between them at the Africa Sevens. What pressure from the scrum from Uganda. They have scrum advantage as well. I think that the Lionesses are coming into this tournament minus Grace Aviambo, Judith Okumu, Stella Wafula, Christabel Lindo, who are all in South Africa for the Rugby Tens Championship. Yeah, but as we speak, this Not is Anasose Maimuna. Open, Open ball. It is cleaned up by Nachio Snyder. Daylight. Okay. No daylight from Uganda there. The tackler and the support need to release on that contest. But what a fight from both teams non-stop rugby no, no. i think yeah. we've had like three minutes of non-stop rugby and now with this medical break we can finally catch a breather and so do the players as the light drizzle starts to power down midway through this actually just two minutes left to play in this second half of the women's cup final two minutes left to play three points separating the two teams uganda 15 lionesses 12. Uganda are no stranger to the cup final in the Safari Sevens. They finished second three times, third in the very last edition in 2021. But most importantly, the local club featuring in this competition, the Thunderbirds A, finished on the top step of the podium when they won it in 2004. So this, this will be a return to winning ways for Uganda only if they can hold on to this three-point margin against the Lionesses with just 90 seconds to play. An introduction coming up for debutant Unity Namulala. She got called to the national team just a few months ago. And look the stage where she is. Okay. Namulala scored her first try earlier today in that semi-final so this is all to play for for Scrum uganda Scrum and Scrum kenya Scrum as well okay. Okay. 90 seconds remain as Five. the skies open up here at the rfu ground Six. Kenya now playing that look move that Uganda have found as their identity. And then this is Diana Ocheng. Beats one, beats two. The ball is lost. Same hands, same hands. Nachio cleans it up. Very doing well to get out of the way as well. Ocheng with the kick. Lekuru following through. Desperate from Lekuru. It will be a Kenyan line out. 50 seconds left to play. Nail biting stuff in this women's cup final. The rain is pouring down. But the temperature on the pitch is at an all time high. Three points separate Lionesses from Uganda. Line out, take it quickly. Edith Nariaka loses possession. One of the youngsters coming through the ranks of the Lionesses. The final Huta has gone. This is the last player. Another chance, one more chance for Kenya to win and defend the Safari no Sevens no. title. No hands. No hands. Uganda desperate there. That looked like an intentional knock on. And Nakuya Agnes will be heading to the bin. Nakuya condemns Uganda to the mercy of the Lionesses. Without a doubt, they'll be calling for the scrum to strike out wide. will be heartbreaking for Uganda should Kenya make use of this set play and similarly heartbreaking for the Lionesses, the defending champions if they cannot make use of this advantage in the power play. 
but it would Five. be a good result for rugby. Set. It has been hot, it has been entertaining. Definitely setting the tone for the final men's competition coming up in a few. The ball is lost. It is cleaned up by Sheila Chajira, Stop using up. all her experience to ensure the ball is still in play. And with the Lionesses in possession, this is Amuguni looking to go Stop all up. around the Ugandans. Yeah. She is on the floor. Advantage, offside. Advantage for the offside there. Advantage over. Chajira. And then over. And then, yeah. and it's a forward pass. No way, ladies and gentlemen. There Kenya's will be celebration in Kampala tonight. Heartbreak in the rain for the lionesses. Uganda, unbelievable scenes at full time. The women sevens have won the 2023 Safari Sevens tournament. Has been massive. It was a great game from both teams. But you have to give it to the Ugandans for their resolve. Holding out in those final minutes. 15-12 against the Kenya Lionesses. They started early, they fought, they worked hard. Catching Kenya napping early on to take a lead and then fighting back. The defending champions threw the kitchen sink at Uganda. Unfortunately, that final pass went forward in the eyes of referee Umal Barikanda and he put a stop to the challenge. What a game. Confirmation of the squad full time. It is Uganda 15, Lionesses 12. Lionesses 